my art goes out to all Nigerians out there, you know, that are going to be affected by the ban, you know, coming to the United States. I just want you guys to know, uh, you know, I really sympathize with the situation, you know, um, even though I'm about to speak truth to power here, because, um, of course, I'm speaking for my country, Sierra Leone. But I just want all Nigerians out there in the world to know that my heart goes out to you guys. And hopefully this situation would be resolved. You know, this travel ban would be resolved and um, there could be a better way, you know, that the uh, U.S. government and the Nigerian government can work this through. OK, but all right, guys, you know, I just want to shed light on this real quick, you know, because, um, you know, I just saw the Night Watch newspaper on Facebook. And by the way, thanks to Joe Anson because he posted that on Facebook. I just saw it. I'm sure it's on WhatsApp and all these other mediums. But um, it says Nigerians are jetting in, you know, into Sierra Leone to obtain a Sierra Leonean passport. So, um, you know, this is like full circle again coming around, right? First of all, let me give you guys a context as far as where I'm going with this. Now we've all heard that, you know, of course, uh, the president of America is going to institute this ban against six countries. And Nigeria is one of those countries. And um, so uh, basically... Um, there has to be a way out of this for Nigerians, right? And um, the next best bet would be Sierra Leone because they're counting on the corrupt leaders of Sierra Leone to sell Sierra Leonean passports to Nigerians so that they could use those and be able to travel to the United States, I guess. So um, uh, my, my thing is this, President Bio, this is coming again full circle. Um, it's ironic how you're the president today, just like um, when you were the head of state back in the day, and then uh, Abbas Bundo is currently the Speaker of the Parliament, Sierra Leone's Parliament. And there was this bribery uh, thing that happened with you guys selling Sierra Leonean passports. You know, um, uh, and uh, of course that has died down. And then about some 20 years later, this whole thing is coming again. So President Bio, this is, um, is going to be a real test, you know, to your leadership there. Because um, we know it's going to be some quick, you know, this is a get rich quick scheme. And um, a lot of uh, some of your members in your cabinet and government officials are going to see this as an opportunity for them to make some quick money. But I just want to remind you guys that if that's what you're thinking as far as selling Sierra Leonean's passport, Sierra Leone's passport to Nigeria so they can use that to travel overseas. Well, um, this is what I want to say to you. Uh, you're going to have it coming because what you're going to do. Uh, for as long as the president of America is going to remain Donald Trump, then I think the next country that's going to be banned is going to be Sierra Leone. And I don't think that's what you guys want. And let me tell you, these white folks, especially Americans, they're familiar. Do you know why they have uh, some of their nationals coming into these African countries and visiting, study the culture, get to know the people, speak the language? It's because of things like this, because they are preparing themselves for the 21st century. You know, uh, 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, it used to be that you can give your passport as an African to somebody else that looks like you a little bit, and they can travel with your passport. Well, all of that is gone. Let's forget about technology, all the biometrics and all that stuff. But now they know when you speak what part of Africa you're from. And I guarantee you, I don't care how you can, you know, uh, uh, imitate somebody, but there's no Nigerian that can actually speak like a Sierra Leonean. And when you go to that American embassy with a Sierra Leone passport and you have a Nigerian accent, of course, it's going to be confiscated from you. And of course, it's a crime too. So President Bio, I just want to put you on the guard as the president of Sierra Leone currently, you know, to make sure that no Nigerian obtains a Sierra Leonean passport to be able to travel to the United States. That, this, this should be something that, you know, uh, it should be teasing in the first place for anybody to do that. But like I said, it comes full circle because back in the day, Abbas Bundu and yourself were accused of selling Sierra Leonean passports for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, you know, uh, so it looks like the opportunity has pre presented itself again. And I would hope you pass out on this one, President Bio. Put your foot down, protect our passports, protect Sierra Leoneans, protect the citizens so that Sierra Leone will not be blackmailed and blackballed by the United States government. It's going to affect a lot of Sierra Leoneans, and I'm sure they will not be pleased with you. And posterity and generations, yet unborn, will not be happy with you for that. All right.